Hello and welcome to Free Jacks in Five, a series of brief interviews where you get to know your favorite New England players. Free Jacks in Five is brought to you by Arbella Insurance, the official home and auto insurance provider of the New England Free Jacks. I'm Dallas Stanford, a former U.S. Eagle and current World Rugby commentator. And in this episode, we have the pleasure to spend five minutes with Aleki Morris Lome, one of the talented New Zealand backline players that has added firepower in the MLR. Firstly, welcome, my friend. And what has the transition been like moving to Boston? Hello. Uh, thanks for having me. The transition has actually been really easy. Uh, TK and, and the Free Jacks management um, had everything set up for us um, when we got here. So really, we just had to arrive and everything was go. I think it was just uh, maybe the time difference in the cold I really had to get used to. Let's talk a bit about your background growing up in New Zealand. Tell us a bit about that and you know what kind of things you enjoyed doing outside of rugby. Growing up um, was pretty family orientated, um, always with cousins, uh, my sister. Uh, we're always outside, um, either hitting the beaches, running around on our bikes, uh, building huts. Stuff like that, not really on the PlayStation like nowadays. What area did you grow up in for our, for our folks that know a bit about New Zealand? Uh, so I'm from Dunedin, which is in the South Island. And you mentioned your sister. Uh, did she excel at sports um, or do you have other family members as well that have done well on the sporting field? Uh, she played a bit of sport um, growing up, so gymnastics, netball. Yeah, so my granddad um, was probably the one that excelled the most. He actually played for Samoa in 1973. So that was kind of the push and drive for me to kind of um, pursue rugby. And no wonder where you get your tackling abilities from, you know, smoking people left, right and centre. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a good trait of the, the sound it, ones, I suppose. It, what rugby highlights would you rank as your top three moments in your career? First one would have been uh, back at school. So like I said, I was from down south, just a small, small school. Um, we managed to make it to the national final that year. So um, that was really cool. The second would be playing for Otago, my hometown. Um, we've been lucky enough to be a part of a few Ram Philly Shield matches. So uh, back home, they're pretty big, get massive crowds and um, it's really good energy to play in. Third would probably be being able to get the, the opportunity to play a Highlanders preseason game. Obviously watched them since I, I can remember, um, you know, dreamed about playing for them. So it was really special as well. Yeah, I will say growing up in South Africa, the Highlanders and the Hurricanes, those were two two of our favorite teams watching. And when you guys go head to head, uh, there's no love lost there, you know? Nah, nah. And now let's talk about coach Ryan Martin. When did you first meet him and kind of what aspects do you enjoy about his, his coaching? Um, so it actually was quite a long time ago now. I think it's about 10 years um, when I first first met Ryan. So he coached the age group representative team back home. So that's when I first met him. I've been in a couple of teams with him and um, they seem to be pretty successful under his reign. Obviously coming from a teaching background, I think he's able to coach and get points across to the players, but he's also pretty straight up, which is what, what you need to get better as well. And has he given you a nickname? Because I know we had the Red Ghost on here earlier and he's just, he's a funny guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. No, he usually comes up with some pretty funny names, but mine's pretty simple. He just keeps it with uh, Lex. You got away with that one. Um, yeah, now, I did. <laughs> now, is there a fact that people don't know about you that you that you could share with us? Uh, an interesting fact, I'm actually a regional athletics champion back home so i'll take that one i will take that one for sure okay so three famous people that you would like to meet and why uh michael jordan would be pretty cool obviously he's a massive icon kevin hart for a bit of laughter and uh we'll go with uh, gordon ramsay because he'll be able to cook up a good feed oh that's a good mix i forgot to ask you do you have an embarrassing moment off the field oh there's been a few embarrassing moments but um I'll just say holding my little niece, um, Anahita here, probably chucking her up and down and getting spewed on in front of people is a bit embarrassing. <laughs> uh, you're a good man. Now, what are your early impressions of Magic Rugby? You've seen it for a few weeks. You've The standard's actually really good. You know, a lot of talent coming from uh, from foreign countries, but then, you know, the players that are here, you know, they train hard, willing to learn and um I think it's a really good competition and it's definitely on the up. Tell us a bit about the vibe that you guys are building at the Free Jack. Yeah, the vibe, the vibe's pretty cool. You know, the guys are pretty hard on each other, you know, pushing really hard to get better each day. You know, it's a pretty professional outfit, um, but also know how to have fun um, and switch off. So I think it's a really good balance of rugby, learning, fun, you know, camaraderie. It's a really cool environment to be a part of. And then well, lastly, a little message for the fans. I know you have a huge following locally, but also internationally. There are pe people tuning in all over the globe and, of course, in your home home country of New Zealand. Do you have a little message for them? You know, uh, the boys love the support. Um, messages from afar, uh, you know, we definitely read them and see them and uh, it goes a long way. So, 
keep getting behind us and, um, you know, watch out. The beast from the east is coming. There we go. Lovely. Well, Lecky, thanks for joining us in Free Jacks in 5, brought to you by Bella Insurance, the official home and auto insurance provider of the New England Free Jacks. Fans can get behind your side, get tickets to the home matches, merchandise which ships internationally at freejacks.com. As they say here, let's ride. Let's ride.